Um, oh, okay, my turn. Uh, my thing. Well, I still want to talk about like did, I didn't really speak about this because it got onto my jacket, and it is a fantastic jacket, but still, Hang on. <laughs> the power's not working. Uh, Jeez, that's just terrible. Right, it's still going. Um, anyway, no. The thing here that I really wanted to speak about, I think hive intelligence is the future of it. That you look at sites and you look at how they extract intelligence okay. from it. Like you look <laughs> at, say, Reddit. I, I love Reddit, so I'm just going to use that as my main example. You can actually extract intelligence. They've just got a really basic like liking mechanism. But if you can actually make that into yeah. a greater way of filtering information and actually using a hive mind to get, say, a thousand people thinking about a topic and to actually get the best ideas that back there and yeah. to keep it cycling. Like Reddit doesn't cycle, it doesn't let ideas flow onto other. Like the classic idea of memes is to have diversity, hereditary and selection. Selection's easy, like you actually, well, you select something and say that I agree with this. Diversity, well, that's obvious through there, but yeah. hereditary, hereditary is the key and you've got to keep the cycling going through. And I think that's going to happen. I, I want to try that. I think is there that... is a way to do a hive mind like that, but once you get that idea kind of working, yeah. you can get millions of people all thinking in unison to create ideas. It's like the machine, but using humans as the machine. Yeah. Is that the, uh, the, the team video of Ted? Was that the one? Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, yeah, the team video. Well, that's where the diversity has like, like, entry. Like, where are you pulling these things that from? Was, uh, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I do know her name. She is spectacular. I've watched her thing, yeah, like, I, far too many times, but she is phenomenal. Find it. Yeah, <laughs> Susan someone. Susan Blackmore. Yeah. Susan Blackmore. There we go. Yeah, great. Uh, great thing. Just watch it. It'll, yeah, it'll get you thinking about the idea of memes and then maybe even more work into technological stuff, yeah. which I guess the technological memes would actually be what you were talking about just then. Kind of, yeah. Maybe. I'd love to actually, um, we should look at um, the MIT uh, collective should, intelligence yeah. side a lot more. Like, because I want to, like, there needs to be a better flat platform for harnessing collective intelligence. Like, well, <laughs> use the collective intelligence to help understand it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Which is related, I may as well jump into this story there. Yeah, yeah, go to Hunch. Hunch. Yeah, go to, go to your next one. I, I uh, don't have too many good ones. Yeah, yeah. You've got the good ones this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this cycle called Hunch. I've known about it for a while. It was started by, I'm not sure who, but I remember when it first started out, they're like, Oh, it's this new site by so I would put it some up famous there. person. There's a famous person who's done something before <laughs> that started this. But anyway, their whole thing is okay. Here's their thing: Hunch gives customized recommendations and gets smarter the more you use it. So it's recommendation engines, which is epic. Okay, the recommendation engines. Um, for example, on Reddit and Dig and Facebook, they're all feeds now. I think what they should be is. Rather than you skipping every story, maybe out of 100 stories, you look at, say, five. So like on Facebook with your, your friends' yeah. stats updates. The, the ones that you're actually you're not too interested in. Yeah. But they're, they're sort of doing that with the friend feed, the, the news feed. A little bit. Yeah, they're showing, they're showing you the people that you, you follow more. Yeah, yeah. But recommendation engines and where it could be cool and where I hope Hunch is maybe going with like they're just doing a little gimmicky sort of like, like they got all these random things and you just follow what people think about them and try and learn from... Uh, their ends and stuff like they're doing this cool uh, Twitter um, game. Where is it here? The Hunch Twitter predict predictor game. And what you do is you basically uh, put in your Twitter username. You go into this game. It then analyzes your tweets and your followers' tweets and who your followers are and all that stuff. And it asks you questions. And as you answer those questions, it learns more about you. And so it kind of predicts what your answer will be. And TechCrunch did a thing on it as well. And they said that uh, thirty-two out of thirty-five. Um, questions they actually predicted the answer so that's pretty, Damn, that's pretty spot on and this is just using all this collective intel like if you go and read their about page it's like the theory behind using collective knowledge for decision making so they're all about like harnessing the collective knowledge collective wisdom of crowds and using that to generate a really smart platform that can actually help you answer things brilliant like these guys are, they're very early on now but I can see them and growing this sort of thing just recommendation engine in general growing could, can I say one thing right now? Yeah. That just looking at your screen, there is a thing saying gay anthems. Right there. Like, underneath console video games and in between classical piano pieces, there is gay anthems with two naked guys wrestling. So... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to say that. I know. Yeah. I so, know, I saw it. I looked down and I was like... <laughs> Damn, okay. I was Let's like, I was like yeah, there's a lot of like... It's, it's, it's great, it's collective intelligence. <laughs> so, the collective is in hand saying that you want some more gay anthems in your life. Is that right? And the first is one is, it's raining men. Oh, I, I haven't logged in, I haven't signed it. Yeah, I don't believe that. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the but, recommendation. But anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Screw you, dude. Screw you. Fuck, no. Okay, um... Uh, with Reddit, like... <laughs> oh, just relax. 
Look, it's okay. You can you can say it now. I'm I'm quite quite good actually. <laughs> no, <but> you suck. <laughs> On camera, you would. Oh, fuck you. With your gay ad. I'm quite straight, by the way. I'm sorry, you're talking about it recommends to you what you would like, <laughs> and it's popping up with gay anthems. Like, that's just brilliant. No, that's the front page! You can <laughs> you say, oh, it's raining men. Anyway. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, but I think we're recommendation agents. <laughs> with Reddit, you should be able to go to Reddit and dig, and you should see, like, 100% of the stories should be, like, should be what you want. Yeah. Exactly what you want. You should want to click every one of them. That is a recommendation engine. And on top of that, you should be able to go onto you know the BBC website and it customizes its entire page and all the stories it's offering based on your social data, on all your sort of internet behaviors and data and everything that's stored up about you since you've used the internet. Which is, it, it can actually yeah. monitor you how you use a website or what you actually click on. Like, there's so many heat maps out there about how you use a website. If you could actually see how yeah. you actually interact with things, it can customize it based upon you. Yeah. That's what a recommendation should do. Like, you, you, yeah. you don't need, what was the idea? You don't need to go to multiple websites. You go to one website, it and gets the best of the web and feeds it to you. Yeah. And there's, <laughs> oh, there's so many different areas. Do you think Hunch could do it? Uh, they're setting themselves up to do it. Like if they, it's all through Twitter. It's, I Have guess they expanded into like Facebook or anything, or yeah, I think they're just trying all sorts of things. Like, okay, they're pretty smart. I, I'm not sure of their vision though. That's the issue. Like, you, you can never know. No, it's well. the founders' vision. If they have that vision to go beyond and actually, because this like recommendation engines, I, within the next three years, they're going to be the main thing of the web. You will, the entire internet within probably five years, I'd say maybe, will be completely customized to you. Every single website that you visit will be. Dedicated, unique, individualized, personalized, just to you. To you. Like if, if you went to the same site as me, logged into my account, you would not see anything the same. No. It'd be like well, could it, it'd be completely different the content on any website across the web. Yeah. So your browsing experience would be completely different to mine. And it'd be just specifically tailored that it yeah, yeah to how you And that, that might seem like a you know a segregation type thing, like some people will be only on some sites, some of the only on other sites, some of the only getting some content, blah blah blah. But it's also segregating them into groups. Yeah. Which is more... Oh, that's and that, good. Then, if you put people in groups, that's when ideas start to flow a hell of a lot more. Like, like-minded people, put like-minded people together. No matter what ideas there are, like... Fucking even if they're conservative, if you get a whole bunch of conservatives <laughs> together, like, fucking, let's say, gay Muslim Republicans or something. Okay. You put, <laughs> you put a bunch of them together, then they come up with some great ideas. Yeah. Well, it, that, it's the collective <laughs> intelligence yeah. again there that you put a lot of all the people thinking roughly the same thing you can extract the best from. Hmm. That's cool. I'll have to check out my hunch. Okay, uh, my next one is... Da, 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 da. Okay, I've got this one about... I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's just about like virtual reality inside a hamster ball, but... I might be running out of time. Did yeah, you check the time? I didn't check we've the been, time. We've been rambling a lot. We have. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, this one's about inside a virtual reality house. Well, it's a little, it's, it's cool, it's great, but there's not too much to talk about. You know, it could be the future reality. It's $50,000 for this hamster ball where you put in virtual goggles and you run around and you Yeah, actually, that's quite stuff. lame. It is. It's not, not I don't really want to talk pay, to it. I won't even pay, like, nah. I was looking, bucks, I was like, or... oh, no, it's, no, it's better than that. It's just not interesting that much to talk about. It's oh, okay. kind of, yeah. I don't know. But, okay, anyway, this other thing I want oh, to talk yeah, about. Um, 